I fondled them, I groomed them, I groomed their families and I groomed society. If you're constantly speaking death and failure over everything that they do and you're shouting at them in the car on the way back and you don't speak to them positively, they are really vulnerable to a man like this. Because if you don't show them that love, somebody else will. You will clearly just be vulnerable to the attack more so than if you are in a nuclear family with two praying parents who are both equally present. <clears throat> Matt Smith TV. Today, I'm going to analyze videos of Jack Reynolds, notorious and convicted pedophile, as he unveils the techniques and tactics he used to groom children throughout the 1980s. Jack Reynolds was incarcerated in 1989 after a child he was molesting was able to get hold of a cell phone and call for help. He then spent 12 years in prison. Recently, a video of him detailing all the things he used to do in order to successfully molest children has been doing the rounds. And I'm going to unpack as much of it as I can because what I found is actually mind-blowing. How did you get them alone? When we were on the ballparks or on the, on the gym floor, you know, I would make sure which ones I wanted to molest. I would give them special attention, congratulate them, talk to them when I know that I would never be allowed to talk to anybody else you know aside from everybody I would give them the attention that a, an official is not supposed to give anybody and it made them feel like wow he's paying me attention you know it, it is a direct form of grooming this is a fantastic advert for speaking life into your children and for loving your children because if you don't show them that love somebody else will and it doesn't mean that what they show them is actually the intent that they have for their lives they could easily be seduced by just the even glimmer of positive talk so speak to people with love so that they don't crave what might end up killing them and in this sense parents speak to your kids nicely man they should not crave tenderness they should have it from you because there's people like this who know that and the devil knows this the devil will set up traps for your kid that includes people like this molesting them that's also why they should know the word of god they should know how fearfully and wonderfully made they are they should know how much attention god God pays to them so that they don't yearn for it from some strange man who is really good at doing what the devil does which is disguising as an angel of light were there certain characteristics that you looked for in children before molesting them in children yes but more I also looked at their families if I thought the father was a threat I would not approach the child Always be a threat. Always have that thing on you, you know what I'm talking about. And make it known that people can't just treat your family or talk to your family like anything. And the most threatening thing to the devil and child molesters like this is having a unified front. If the family is unified, if you're present, if the kids adore you and know that you adore them, then he's just going to flee. Like the devil flees when a Christian knows their authority to call on the name of Jesus. If a kid knows how much their dad will actually step in and be there for them, this guy's over with. He's done. Make sure your kids know that and they're only going to know that if it's true. Be the type of dad who's around. Be masculine. Be manly. Be a leader. Be a servant leader. Be willing to die for your family. Be strong. But the biggest way you could be a threat as a father is by covering your family in prayer. If there is a hedge of protection around your house, threats like this can't come at you. The best way you can protect your family is dispatching angels, literal angels, dispatch them unto your house when you are praying in the Holy Ghost. There should be a wall of fire around your kids when they're walking around because of their daddy's prayer life. That is a man who is a threat in spiritual places because don't be fooled, this is a spiritual attack as much as it is physical. Attacking your lineage, attacking your child's sexual health, yeah, that's a spiritual attack, my friend. Um, even from uh, split parenting, you know, has a mother who may be having problems with the family, you know, well, here comes superhero in to help out, you know, wow, well, thank you very much. No problem. You ever need me to take him away for the night so you can have a night out? No problem. Be careful who you take help from. The devil always front loads what he gives you with pleasure, with help, with comfort, and back loads it with hell, with suffering, with trauma, with damage, with death, with destruction. And the best way not to need help is to make good decisions. If you're a girl who doesn't have a child or a man right now, I want you to pray this prayer real quick. Heavenly Father, 
please give me the wisdom. Help me to make the correct decisions so that my children come into this world and I have the correct support system to bless those children and I am supported as a wife by a man of God. Heavenly Father, I praise you for already bringing the victory into my next generations by covering me in the blood of Jesus. I pray for your wisdom, Lord. I pray for your protection. I pray for your guidance. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm going to pray the same for the boys too. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would strengthen me to make the right decisions, to be wise and to lead as a submitted servant leader who is leading in the name of Jesus. Lord, I come against any spirit that would influence me or any fleshly desire that would influence me to have a child outside of wedlock, to build a family that is genuinely vulnerable to the attacks of the devil. I pray against that. I pray that you would help me and remind me to die to my flesh every day so that I do not give life to a situation like this. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. You need to pray prayers like that because you can't just do this out of I'm wise, I make good decisions, I know what's right. So many people who know what's right do what's wrong. Involve God in everything because you will put a woman and your children in a situation like that or you will put yourself and your kids in a situation like that if you're a woman by making those poor decisions in your flesh. If I could molest him, I could lure him into believing, grooming him into believing that he would enjoy it. And therefore, I can manipulate him into having his other friends come and be molested by me as well. Yeah, you see the dark side of this spiritual world know that sexual perversion is something that you can be persuaded to enjoy. I'm not saying this is the only way you can be homosexual, transgender, whatever it may be. But I am saying that you can be misled into developing a desire for this kind of interaction that isn't actually right, that isn't actually you. As a matter of fact, there's a great deal of correlation between being molested as a child and homosexuality. And to purposely be ignorant of this is just foolish and just invites the attacks of the devil in. Perhaps a, a, a child that doesn't really have a whole lot of friends, maybe not really a strong family, things like that. Yes, no spiritual values. No spiritual values is crazy. Let me explain to you what he means. First of all, I don't know if this guy's a Christian nowadays or if he's just observed things and he's just kind of giving the game away. Being religious ain't gonna protect you for nothing. That's why there's so much molestation in the Catholic Church. And now there are Catholics, I have subscribers who are Catholics who are actually great and they do have power, but the Catholic Church does have the proclivity to take out the spiritual power of things and put in tradition and religious tradition ain't gonna protect you I'm sorry and if you're if you're watching this and you're a Catholic I love you I do love you or uh, if you're watching this and uh, you're somebody who was raised as a Christian but doesn't really pray in the Holy Spirit doesn't really invite God into the situation who doesn't believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and apply it to every single situation and who doesn't relish in their relationship with God daily I love you, but I gotta get you hip to something. The devil's not afraid if you say I'm a Christian. The devil's not afraid if you say I read my Bible. But what the devil really fears is a Christian who knows his authority in Christ Jesus. You've got to, got to, got to cover your family in prayer. Don't get tired, don't get weary in well-doing. Don't think that you prayed enough or that you go to church enough or that there's enough Bible verses on your kitchen wall. You better call the armies of heaven down to your family, man. You better protect your family in spiritual heavenly places. Because I'm telling you, the devil will pounce on a Christian who does not know their authority in Christ Jesus. And this is not a call to be afraid. No, 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 you might have got saved last week. You might not know any word at all. This is me letting you know that you have the spiritual authority to block these things. What you ask for in Jesus' name will happen. And demons must respond when you call on the name of Jesus. Because you are fully a son or daughter of God. Not because you deserve it. Not because you're a clean vessel. Not because you behave really well and you never miss church and you never sin but because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and the membership to God's kingdom that is irrevocable that you now have. When you command angels, they consider it a command from Jesus Christ himself. You have his full and imputed righteousness with which you have the authority to cast out demons and protect your family. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pray right now. Heavenly Father, I pray protection. I pray deliverance. I pray stability over every family, every family unit, every 
child, every mother, every father listening to this video, I pray that right now in the name of Jesus, the angels will be dispatched unto their families and I come against the spirit of molestation, of perversion, of pornography, of rape, of pedophilia. Lord, I come against that right now in the name of Jesus and I block that in the name of the Lord and I pray in Jesus' name that the people listening to this would know their authority in Christ Jesus to come against evil such as this. I pray grace over parents who have made mistakes. I pray grace over children who have been touched, who have had things done to them that they did not deserve or that have made mistakes themselves, Lord God. I pray healing, I pray protection, and I pray deliverance. And I thank you that all these things are done, not by my name, not by my might, not by my power, but by the holy name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. And I seal this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all, that's been the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, send to a friend. Let me know in the comments if you found this interesting. I'll speak to you soon. <coughs> Matt Smith TV.